You were born ready. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm going to tell a little story, and I hope it's going to be funny, which means that you people should all laugh at it. Thank you. I love you too. Uh, so earlier this week, I went to get a cup of coffee, and I thought I decided consciously that I was going to come to Bonn to get that cup of coffee because, as we all know, Bonn is the greatest place to get coffee. That's right. Thank you for applauding. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> now my plan was to come here, oh. get a cup, and uh, you know, find one of the comfortable seats, put my feet up, take my shoes off, and uh, take my pants off, and uh, <laughs> you know, just uh, relax with a nice warm cup of stimulants. Uh, because as we all know, that's the kind of place the bomb is. You can, do, you, you can do that. I'm surprised people don't have their pants off right now. <laughs> I didn't end up going to bomb. I went to another coffee shop. I'm not going to tell you which one, because I don't want you people after the show going out and like roughing up the patrons and vandalizing, spray painting dirty words on the walls and uh, burning it down and stealing their stuff. Spray paint the train. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I don't know what you people are capable of. You look pretty rough. <laughs> I will describe it, though. It, it, it has chairs and uh, hardwood floors and art on the walls, so that narrows it down significantly. And Bond has most of those things. I'm the one with the microphone. <laughs> uh, and Bond has most of those things, but uh, what, what this place had in front of the store that Bond doesn't, or at least didn't tonight, was a Swedish bikini team. Oh. Uh, and, and, and this is true. I kid you not. Outside, there was a trio of athletic, blonde, Swedish 18-year-olds uh, holding signs saying, come have coffee at this coffee shop instead of at Bonn, which is clearly the superior choice, except for the fact that it has no Swedish vacation outside. <laughs> and I, I, I might add, this was earlier this week. This is a true story. So the weather was 40 degrees, and I mention that only because these women did not seem to be uncomfortable. I mean, they seemed to be okay and not abused or anything as they were holding their signs up in the air in 40 degree weather. And I think that might be because they were from Sweden, which is, as we all know, a very cool country uh, in the summer. It can get down to sometimes in the 20s, and that's not in Celsius, that is in fact in Kelvin. So uh, they seem to be okay with you know, wearing bikinis in the middle of March. And I'm not going to say that it was this trio of scantily clad Swedish women in bikinis that convinced me to go into the shop and buy coffee from there instead of Bonn, the greatest coffee shop in town, if not the world. Uh -huh. I mean, after all, this is 2015. We are enlightened. We, we're, we're, not, we're not going to be like drawn in by a number of five by sex, really. We're not. We're too smart for that. Uh, I mean, like last I saw, the the GoDaddy advertisement girl was a 70 year old Amish librarian. Um, we respect women in this day and age for their intelligence and their personality and their sense of style and uh, their sense of humor and all of these redeeming characteristics that add up to being worth approximately 70% of what men are. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, 
So. So when I buy coffee, it's with that in mind. And I buy coffee for its robust taste, and I buy it from a particular establishment for the atmosphere and the environment and, and the music and the uh, charm of the establishment, and not because there is a Swedish bikini team outside. Uh, which is why I felt compelled to ask the Swedish bikini team why they thought that being outside, waving their signs, would be an effective way to get me to uh, go into that coffee shop instead of Bonn, the greatest coffee shop in the galaxy. The galaxy. Uh, I mean, like, after all, we can all agree that a bikini team is really quite a dumb advertising uh, plan because it only really uh, speaks to half the market, to the heterosexual males and the lesbians and the bisexuals, depending on how they're feeling that way. Uh, and it doesn't have <laughs> and the uh, heterosexual women, and the gay men, and potentially, again, the bisexuals, depending on how they're feeling that way, aren't going to be attracted by the Swedish bikini team. They're, they're going to be put off, and, uh, you know, um, less inclined to buy coffee from that establishment. Uh, I think that's just a known fact. That Women, I, 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 I suppose I could take a poll of the women here uh, of whether or not women in bikinis outside an establishment would make you more or less likely to buy coffee from that place. Uh, but this, this is a 10 minute set, so I won't do that. <laughs> so I talked to the one of the girls the, from the Swedish bikini team. The, the one with the, you know, and uh, I, I, I forget her name, but uh, she said some very intelligent things. She was, she was, she was very smart and witty and uh, classy, and, um, I, I was, um, and I quote her directly when I say, when she said, that um, we wear the bikinis and it works because <laughs> Okay, I can. I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I can't do the voice for more than like five seconds at a time. And it ends up being, you know, like Norwegian or it's Swedish anyway. So it's a, and uh, I, I, I do strive for accuracy in all of my comedy. Uh, but what she said made sense, and I looked it up afterwards. It's that men associate breasts of any woman with the breasts of their mom, which they associate also in their mind with sustenance and food from when they were a child. Uh, it, 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 it's comforting and nourishing. And that's why, and this is actually true, I looked it up, McDonald's arches are in the shape of, like, Madonna's breasts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea why their mascot is a clown, but that, maybe that's just decided to entice the more sexually confused people. Um, Starbucks, if you look at their mascot, it, it's a circle, uh, and in the middle of the circle is a topless woman. Uh, Harris Teeter, that goes without saying, even though I just said it, I'll say it again, Harris Teeter. Oh. That is the correct response. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, e e e even our beloved and um, local establishments like Bodo's. Bo Bodo's, if you took that Swedish bikini team and you told them to like hug and you look, took a picture of them from the neck down, it would be the Bodo's logo. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I have to say that it works because people use it. They, they've used it in national campaigns and local campaigns, and there's yeah. just no denying this fact anymore. 
Uh, and it, it kind of blew my mind. I mean, it, but it still didn't uh, answer the question of why you would do this when it only attracted half of the populace. The women wouldn't go for that, I would think. And again, I could take a poll, but uh, again, I only have 10 minutes, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, but the, the, again, the Swedish bikini model answered my question about this, and, and she said, and uh, again, this is paraphrasing, not a direct quote, because I wasn't paying attention really to what she was saying, uh, that men, yes, do are attracted to these places that advertise with boobs, and uh, they come and they swarm, and uh, women eventually follow them because at some point in a woman's life there is a large box to pick up, or a jar with a stuck lid, or a spider in the bathroom, and they need to find a man to deal with that. And, and so they go to the establishment where all the men are congregating, which uses breasts as an uh, advertisement. And, and so that furthers 100% of the market, not counting bisexuals depending on the week. And uh, I have to admit, this works in theory. And, and, and solely in theory, because I mentioned at the beginning of the show that we are all intelligent, logical, clear-headed, level-headed human beings who would, who are above being enticed by uh, sexual advertisements. Um, which is why I'm here tonight instead of that other coffee shop. Well, okay, it's one of the reasons. The other reason is that the Swedish bikini team left. I have other jokes, but I didn't write them down. So I'm not going to say them yet. Okay. <laughs>